Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Those of you that follow me know that for a while now I've been selling Lightroom presets. As a matter of fact, since 2015 I've been selling them. Well, those presets have been getting pretty old, so I decided to retire those. They're no longer for sale, and over the past few months I've been developing a new set of presets, 501 ISO Adaptive Lightroom presets. Now in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install them in Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Mobile, and Adobe Camera Raw. Now just a little bit about the presets in the description below this video I'll have a link to my website anthonymorganti.com. From there uh, you could see there's the presets. I mentioned there's 501 ISO Adaptive Lightroom presets and what ISO adaptive means is that they will automatically adjust the amount of noise reduction applied to an image depending on what ISO that image was shot at. So a lower ISO image will get less noise reduction and a higher ISO image will automatically get more noise reduction. Now once you click on that you'll be brought to this page where you could see the different categories of presets the amount, $47, you could add them to your cart, and I have some samples uh, there as well. Now, as far as installing them, once you purchase them, you could download them immediately, and what I suggest you do is put them on your desktop so you could easily find them. Leave them zipped. They'll arrive zipped in a package. Don't unzip them. Then, in Lightroom Classic, go to the Develop module, and go to the left hand side and click on this little plus sign and click on import presets and when you do that go to your desktop or where you wherever you have them and I just click on the zip file and import them and Lightroom will automatically unzip that file and import them and you could see that they're all grouped together right here in their different categories now the categories are loose I have a category called beaches that just means I use beach images to create those presets. I have another category, mountains. I use mountain images to create those presets. It doesn't mean you can't use those presets on, let's say, a lifestyle image or a travel shot or something like that. They're just loosely based. Now I'll just show you a few examples real quick in Lightroom Classic. Then I'll show you how to install them in Adobe Camera Raw and in uh, the mobile version of Lightroom. Now this is a portrait, so we'll go to portraiture, and there's a lot of different like samples here. Let's see, let's try a black and white one first. I really like veteran, that's like a really kind of harsh black and white look. Then I have one that's kind of a cool skin look. Uh, let's see, a cool wash look, um, forever young look, a fresh mist look. So something like that, I mean there's tons here. It's impossible to go over all of them. Here's more of a lifestyle shot. Let's go to lo the lifestyle category. And since the sun is kind of landing on the side of her head, I think maybe a lens, fair, lens flare upper left might work decent for that one. So that's pretty good. Here's a macro. Let's go to the macro category. And let's see, we'll just um, go to boost yellow because there's yellows in there. Detail light, that's adding detail, detail medium. Hopefully you can see the difference. Detail strong. Let's go sharp center. What it will do is it will make the center of the image sharp and everything around it kind of blurred out. See the difference? So a lot of different macro possibilities there. And let's just go to a straight landscape shot just to do a couple here. Let's go to, let's say, country air, country kitchen, country fair, a bunch right in a row, dark and rich, dew point. So a lot of different uh, examples here. I kind of like country air on that one. So that's how you install them in Lightroom Classic. Now what you may find when you install them, not all of them were sh will show up. That may be because um, I created them using RAW files and you are got a TIFF file or a JPEG or there's a white balance thing that I use that isn't available for your image. Well, you still could use the image or use the preset, but it, because it's not showing up, you have to go to... Lightroom preferences to make sure that all the presets are showing so that you could use all of them. 
To do that, if you have a Mac, go up to the Lightroom Classic menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. And then go down to Preferences. And then go to the second tab from the left, Presets, and make sure that Show Partially Compatible Develop Presets is checked. That way, all the presets will show up and you'll be able to use all of them. Now, as far as installing this in Adobe Camera Raw, you just did. When you install them into uh, Lightroom Classic, uh, they automatically will show up in Adobe Camera Raw. So I'll open a RAW file up into Camera Raw. And what you'll do is you go to the Presets panel, which is right here, and you can see they're right here. So they automatically showed up here. Unfortunately, they don't automatically show up in the mobile version of Lightroom. At least that's what many of us call it. Uh, Adobe just calls this Lightroom. Um, some people call it Lightroom in the cloud, but either way, this is Lightroom. And what you need to do is you need to go to the preset browser. And that is over here on the bottom right hand side. So make sure you're in the edit panel. Click over here. Then down here at the very bottom where it says presets, click there. And then you'll open up the preset browser. Now I already installed them because when you install them into this, the cloud version of Lightroom, they get uploaded to the cloud. So this install, you saw how fast it was for Lightroom Classic. This install takes longer, probably a couple minutes because it has to upload them as it's installing them. But to install them, open up the preset browser, click on these three dots in the top right hand corner and click on import presets. Again, if not all of them are showing up at the very bottom right now, mine says hide partially compatible presets. If they're not all showing up, this will say show partially compatible presets. So make sure you click that to show them all. And then once you do that, they'll be all grouped together just like they were in Adobe Camera Raw and in, um, and in uh, Lightroom Classic. And then you could come in and just kind of like pick a preset. Let's look at some of the black and white ones. There's a black and white dream, black and white fantasy, black and white summer, Capri, carry on, Colonial Home, kind of like that one. Creepy Good, Cut from Black and White, Dappled Light. So you can see there's a lot of different variations here. Kind of like Colonial Home, Carry On, I don't know. So many to choose from. Let's go with Colonial Home on this one. So 501 Lightroom presets for really an unheard of price for $47. Uh, thank you all for your kind support. I really do appreciate it. Again, in the description below this video will be links uh, to anthonymorganti.com where you could purchase the presets and see other things I have for sale. I'll be adding to this uh, website as I create new items. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon.